What's your opinion of allowing civilians or non-professionals like pop singers or business people to pay for a seat on the space shuttle by and travel to space? Well, we don't actually have any plans at all whatsoever to sell seats on the space shuttle. Now, the Russians have been selling seats on the Soyuz spacecraft, uh, but that's a different thing altogether. And uh, I do think that space tourism in general is a good thing. Um, in, in the future, I think uh, hopefully the price will come down a lot and a lot more people will get a chance to visit space, and I think that is going to lead to uh, a lot of progress in uh, space exploration because it's going to make it more complicated. So we lost a good uh, two or three minutes there. Um, but uh, the questions went out pretty good. Um, the, um, it's interesting at the end where we couldn't hear him anymore, uh, but Jim over here was uh, uh, listening to him via another ham in Florida. A ham in Florida uh, was receiving his, the answer to the last question and it, he put it in the internet and it came back here. So we actually did get that answer. Unfortunately, the noise on my receiver covered it up. Uh, but um, that, uh, that's part of the hands that we talked about that are, are uh, across the, um, the continent. So it goes very fast. And you probably get a feel for what it's like up there, uh, how fast the Earth is going by his window. About a hand for everyone. Thank you, Mr. Christman. You had some wonderful questions that the students did. Thank you.